Hi there. So in our previous video, we have seen how to create collections in Postman and how to add requests and run tests with values passed to uh, environment variables or global variables. Now we are going to see how we are going to pass the same data through external source. For that, I am just selecting no environment because I am not going to pass any value via my environment. And first step is to create the test data file. So Postman supports test data files in two different formats. One is CSV and other is JSON. So in CSV format, the first row should be the column names and the coming rows will be the data for that column. In JSON file, you just simply open a notepad and type in uh, the test data in JSON format. Uh, for example, here we have two set of test data. This uh, first set within our first curly braces separated by a comma and then within second curly braces we have our second set of data. We have two different set of data and saved as the data saved as a data dot JSON. The same way we have saved this file as uh, data dot csv so there are few rules in csv file the format should be in correct form uh, correct form so this is an integer but uh, it is written in the right hand side so i am just going to add a single column here to make this to an integer to just keep it in that format so integers and booleans will be appended with the semi uh, apostrophe in front to make it its proper format. So now I saved the test data files and I'm going into my postman. My second step is first let me uh, put a proper data ID here as we as I explained a lot about this request and how it works in our previous video. I'm not going to explain about the API now. So I just created a new deck with this deck ID. I'm going to give that here. I'm going to pass this as one deck ID and other, other one is this. Same way, I'm going to generate few more IDs and paste them in our data file because I have used those IDs already. I'm going to create new ID and put them in to check whether these IDs are pulled. So in JSON format, within double quotes only, the data should be passed. Okay, now I saved my file. We're going to run both the files and see how it works. So our second step is go to this body section as in my previous video I explained about params, pre-request script and test tab. Now we are going to see what is the body tab does. Inside that there are a lot of options. Now we are going to use this option raw to parameterize our variables. So we have our test data here. We have to map them to a variable name for that. I'm going to write a JSON script inside that I'm going to declare the variables. So what are all the variables we're going to get from a test data? We here have count, deck ID and card. I'm going to declare count. Inside that we have to give the same name as in the data file here we have count and in this file also we have count so we have to give it as such comma next one is deck id comma next one is card Now, 
we're going to put a double braces because we are calling this value, as I said in my previous uh, video, the variables can be called by using double curly braces. The same way we are going to call the variable. Here there is one more change I'm going to do that is only for string we have to use the double quotes. Count here is an integer, the other two are string. So I'm going to use double quotes only for these two variables. I'm not going to use double quotes for this as this is an integer. So yes, I have typed in and called my data. I'm going to do this in other two requests as well because we are only going to use the count and deck ID from here. Go to raw, paste it. And I can go, go to discard, go to body and paste it. Now we have created our data file and uh, declared variables and called out the values. Now these values should be called from which file? We have to specify the file. For that we have to go to a collection runner. So we have seen uh, already about creating monitors and how to run collection. We have to click run new window opens with options to select which are the methods to be executed. Now I'm going to select the data file here from where I have stored. So first let me select the CSV file data.csv. The file is added. If you click preview, it shows the data passed. So here we have uh, sent two rows, which means two iterations, two times the test will be executed. First time it will execute for this data. And then for second iteration, this data will be pulled and executed. If suppose we are giving third row and fourth row, that many iterations or that many number of times, the request will be executed. So now let us run the test. As I said, we have two iterations executed. And to see how our data are pulled, if you check on console, if you see the first uh, data is run for B7N55 and the second deck ID pulled was 7 to F6 which was specified in our data file and if you see the cards AS and KH and the count is equal to 2 and 5 are pulled that is the data we have given in this Excel so as expected the uh, CSV file data is passed to the request and executed so you can check the response from the console. For example, if you click on this request, you can see request headers and response headers in the link or deck ID what we have sent from the CSV file is being passed. And if you go to response body, you can see the response for that particular request. You can also export request using this button. So let's try running our test via the test data which we entered in our uh, JSON file or a uh, notepad. So again, we have to click on run. Let's select our uh, JSON file. Give preview. Here also, as we have given in this format, it took that in a table format and uh, show us the value. So here KS9H and these are the values we have given in our test data. Right? Yes. So values are pulled perfectly. Let's run this. So again, all our tests are passed. If you see the console, the new IDs are passed in, in, from the previous request. So that our data.json file is pulled for input successfully. For more detailed uh, tutorials or demos on how to connect with human and run tests in Jenkins, please do check the blog in description as well as the videos and channel. Thank you.